Hello, family. Hello, hello, hello. And thank you for coming back over to our channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World with the family. It's a family affair. Yes, it's a family affair. Okay, shortly, uh, going into it, I want to apologize to some about some of my images I have on my screen as a visual. And, of course, you know I'm the narrator over here. Um, they looked at fine hair when I put them up, but when <laughs> it started playing before I start putting it in my narrator piece, I couldn't take them out, child. Y'all know I'm, I'm, um, what do you call it? I have a little def deficit when it comes to playing with all this equipment and these, uh, software editing things. And sometimes my daughter is just not around to help me, so I gotta make it do what it do. So, if y'all see some videos being blurred a little bit too much where it's hurting your eyes, just close it, blink for a couple of seconds, and then I'm I'm sure a, a new slide will uh, catch your interest or won't be too bad for your eyes. So I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Okay. But let me go back. I don't know. It, it just seems like it's cuss out day for me today. I don't know what it is. Okay. Because you know I hate foolishness. You know I hate fake, foolery, fuckery, fraudulent type of shit. You know I just hate it. But I'm about to get on this uh, so-called... Uh, uh, what do you call it? I thought he was a family member, but he was a wool and she's clothing. And they say on these YouTube streets, content creator, uh, that he's fraudulent. Okay. Now, uh, I know some of my people come over here. They have their little avatars and this, that, and third. But I take everybody uh, for who they are, you know, and not looking for anything else. Until they start talking funny and moving funny. They didn't have to go investigate. But sometimes when I think... I'm talking to a content creator. I go over there to their site and see if they're just an actual subscriber or do they have a channel. And so Trap Town NCS, you know, uh, been, has been in my comments. And, you know, like I said, I salute everybody that come over, get them hugs and kisses. But then sometimes I find out some folks are being really fraudulent and I be wanting to slap the shit out of them. But since I can't do that, because it'll be a assault charge type of case going on. But in my mind, this person done got toe up from the flow up. Okay. And we've been wrestling and tussling in my mind. But yes, they he calls himself Trap Town NCS. Yes, if he's been on anybody's platform, uh, he goes on the Trap Country and Western Bond. They're a saying from, you know, I'm looking at other videos and stuff that this is a scam account. Um, it, it's just a hot mess. So, don't pay no attention to him. Hopefully, he'll go away from whence he came. Oh, I tell you, Satan be sending his minions in and every way to try to upset my day okay but i'm just letting other content creators know don't pay this person no mind don't get them no shine don't go over there uh saying you'll be his friend this that and third it's supposed to be like a bunch of kids going to people's accounts youtube content creators and starting stuff but if you want to see where i got my particular information from because i always try to do my due diligence when i am interacting okay it's just like family you know you have somebody coming trying to talk to you and just that and third and you don't know whence where they came you know what i'm saying you don't know whence from where they came so you got to do some own investigating yourself so this guy he has a youtube platform channel he's a youtuber he called himself the kato mechanic slash black sheep he's over there dropping tea on this uh trap town ncs and that's why i got my red alert flag that this person is not legit okay so if you don't want to take my word for it go on over to his channel he has a youtube channel seems like he's prospering real well uh, uh with his commentary but again it's the kato k-e-t-o mechanic m-e-c-h-a-n-i-c uh slash black sheep to get your edification on this fraudulent person called Trap Town NCS. Yes, sometimes y'all think y'all fooling me. Uh-uh, I might be old, but I ain't slow. I ain't fell off a ton of truck yesterday. No, I ain't. I come off my chariot, my chariot and throw streaks. Uh, throw tomatoes in the streets. Yes, I do. I come down there and be throwing tomatoes in the street. Now, if you want to beat me up, I may go in fetal position. But you best be sure if I get up, y'all take me to the hospital and stuff. I'm seeking legal <laughs> 
I am seeking litigation. Now, if I can get you in one of them corners where it's black, dog, ain't no lights, ain't no suspects. I mean, not the suspects. It ain't no, uh, what you call it, tattletailers. People that can call me out there. I'm whooping ass. I'm trying to whoop ass. I might get my ass whooped, but I'm going to get some licks here and there. I can tell you that. I ain't going down without saying I did something. Now, that's behind closed doors, of course. That's not when we're in public and every light going on because then I'm going in fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I do want to give a shout out to Air Woods. Thank you, Air Woods, for stopping by the house and putting your commentary in in that chat uh, section and telling us, speaking your mind of what's going on in your mind when you're um, listening to my commentary about a, a particular subject matter I'm talking about. But anyway, not to tarry too long because we got to get ready for Real Housewives of Atlanta. And it's coming in eight, uh 8 o'clock my time zone, which is Eastern Standard Time. I want to be well arrested and, and ready to give my hand and my piece of paper time to think and my brain time enough to transfer that into me writing shit down. Okay. But we're going to be talking about Celebrity Insider, their journalist Ricky Mathers, Mathers over there, giving us another hit story that's trending out there on social media it says nene leaks and cynthia bailey finally have tense one on one conversation okay i think that may be the one that's coming up this particular sunday okay sunday meaning uh february 16th all right uh it goes on to say it's the reunion that most real housewives of atlanta fans have been waiting on or is it Tonight, Nene Leakes and Cynthia Bailey will finally have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Woo, can't s wait to see that shit happen, okay? And it's supposed to be in her wine, uh, celery, uh, celery, law, her wine, uh, cellar business establishment she has, okay? That's where the conversation supposedly had taken place, okay? But that's my sidebar going back. It says, unfortunately, judging from the clips released in the sneak peek, the two don't seem to get very far, okay? Nene and Cynthia have been close friends for years now, but that's all come have come to a screeching halt with the return of Rick Kenya Moore, okay? Uh, after then, pregnant Kenya surprised Bailey at her second escape party. Nene felt like Cynthia should have given her heads up. Now, we know that's fake and fraudulent. Nene, ain't nobody got to give you a roster or who they got coming to their social event. Hell, you either come or you don't. Stay your ass at home if you got all that drama, okay? And we'll see you another day. Now, that's just my sidebar. I'm going back to the article, it said Bailey insisted that she didn't know more was coming for sure. But an incriminating recorded conversation between Candy Burrs and the Super model insinuated otherwise now see that's what i'm saying candy knew she knew she was coming she knew she was coming if can you say she might show up this damn third if she talking to candy uh nine times out of ten she wanted to make her entrance and i'm probably sure it was production uh in the mix as well uh bringing up some juicy drama and it just all unfolded and it made nene kind of look crazy but then it kind of made candy and uh cynthia look crazy as well okay so crazy is as crazy it does is what i always say uh going back to the article it says since then the two have been going back and forth about each other in the media cynthia did multiple interviews about her friend of me including one that suggested that nene makes everything about her now does nene make everything about her and then she falls victim yes she do but isn't that the same thing you could say about kenya moore yes it is so uh call a spade a spade but they cut from the same cloth but moving on that's just my sidebar the broadway star <coughs> excuse me the broadway star had been saying that her co-star has another side that viewers have not been able to see now yes we saw that jekyll and hyde shit uh cynthia was trying to do cynthia ain't no true g she ain't about them hands she ain't trying to get up in nobody's face in their personal space and make it do what it do it ain't about all that kind of stuff we might just take it for what it is she riding a bench here on our channel it's a family affair we ain't putting her out for nothing we thought she could do and stand the test of time even when she got with mike but uh, no nah, she man uh, ah, look how she ooh, did we not see the last episode <coughs> when Mike showed his ass pretty much talking around his underage daughter about not loving her mother not one time in the situation they were calling themselves being in a relationship that went to an engagement that went to marriage that ran to a divorce yes you see how he did his daughter talking with all them ladies he know he probably more than half of them he done slept with but hell I think he done slept with all of them okay just one of them things everybody had to get a little taste of Mr. Mike alright but it ain't right cause neither one was with him so instead 
she's just going to add to that link in that chain and she's going to be considered a statistic later on that's not in this article that is my sidebar okay going back to the article it says um doing their sit down tonight uh nini explains why she is upset with the woman she considered to be like a sister to her you have you had been out doing several interviews before i did one you did that okay and you need to take responsibility for what you did Lee said i said okay okay maybe she did maybe she do moving on cynthia shrugs it off by saying that is women cynthia shrugs it off by saying that it doesn't matter but well, yes it kind of does matter cynthia if you start the shit you better be able to to withstand the comeback okay that's what i'm saying don't start shit you don't want to back it up okay don't start no one be none don't start no stuff won't be no stuff don't start no stuff won't be no stuff that's what we always say in the street in the hood yes i was born in the hood honey all this shine ain't gonna be uh don't be surprised <laughs> <laughs> I got some hoodness up in here. Okay, I'm polished off a little bit, but you can't take me there. I'll meet you there, okay? But anyway, going back to the article. Um Nene hits back where it does matter. Let me tell you why it matters because you're supposed to be my sister. Remember, you did seven interviews, Cynthia. You know me well enough to know that I take my friendships very serious. Okay, Nene. Yes, you love Cynthia. Uh, scratching your ass, holding up your umbrella when it's raining, and feeding you food if you don't feel like feeding yourself. That's what you want, Cynthia, as your maid. You're a do person. You don't want her as a friend or you wouldn't have treated her way the way you have treated her in the past. Okay, I'm just saying my sidebar, not in the article. Going back to the article, uh, it goes to say, girl, when you get mad at your friends, you're the first one to try to tear them down, Cynthia quips. Okay, girl, get back with them. Anyway, when Nene questions her, Cynthia responds that she tears down anyone who gets mad at. Or anyone she gets mad at. Nene then says, you know, you have your whole side you don't want anybody to know about. You have a side and you have done stuff, but you don't want people to think that. You want people to think that it's me when it's you. That's the problem. All right, then. But my thing about this, Nene, call a spade a spade. That's what we do over here at the Family Affair. My family get down. They would call your ass out in a heartbeat. Won't be, you know, use no cuss words or profanity towards the person themselves, just the the uh situation and the demeanor that they're handling themselves. We don't do subliminals over here. We call it if Judy Jane did it, if Susie Bob did it, then that's who we calling out. We calling out names, we giving uh locations, we giving out verbatim what somebody said. We ain't doing all this. Oh well, I I'm not a snitch, I'm not there. We ain't no snitches either. But hey, cause they say snitches get stitches but my whole thing is if you're gonna drop froggy you better know i'm coming with the ammo okay and i'm gonna be lot loaded and ready to spray everything that was supposed to been off the table hell it's on the table now we finna go to war okay we on defcon one mode but that's how it is and cynthia that's how you should be tell nene tell nene shit if it's bothering you that bad don't hold it in don't go tell other folks just tell it when she right there in front of you so y'all can just have it out okay but anyway going back to the article it says recently nini said that she and cynthia were in a much better place so hopefully this conversation is only the first of many honey i'm like i don't want no more fake fraudulent foolery type of fuckery shit just get down to the meat and potatoes okay we always want to eat right we always want to do what we supposed to do but sometimes it just is what it is you got to let go and let have okay i'm tired of subliminals i'm tired of people not standing in their truth and just saying what is is what if we were people to do just that it'll be less shit to be fu uh fooling around fucking with you know what i'm saying it'll be less stuff to fool around and fuck with if people just came and been be themselves be professional about it and then we won't have to talk about people we won't have to have gossip about people people already know it is here what it is all right and you know what we believe about you so you don't have to go ask jane cynthia sheila and and, and matt come on over here because we're gonna say the same thing that we said to those people we're gonna say it to you or if we had already said it and you just hadn't accepted it but that's all i got that's all my critique was for this particular video now i need my family to get down in them comments tell me what y'all thought about it okay subject matter that is 
and i will see y'all next video okay but definitely subscribe share and like our videos and i will be back soon with another one peace out babies